We begin here first tonight with this story that developing news we just mentioned off the top of this hour here. Former Charlotte Mayor Patrick Cannon now aiming for a seat on City Council. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal is live in Uptown. Jane, his re-entry into local politics comes as a surprise to a lot of people. Oh, you're absolutely right, Fred. Uh, outside of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Government Center, the former mayor served only a few months as Charlotte's mayor before he was arrested on bribery charges. He served about half of his 44 month sentence, has been out of prison now for at least five years. Well, I spoke to WCNC reporter Rad Berkey, who has since retired. He was actually one of the first reporters, if not the first, to break the story on Cannon's arrest back in 2014. And he was a surprise as anyone to see Cannon walk through the courthouse in handcuffs. If you've been in the Charlotte metro area long enough, you might remember the images of then mayor Patrick Cannon leaving the courthouse after his first appearance. Can you give me any reaction at this point, Mr. Mayor? When I went into the courtroom, I knew that somebody had been arrested. I opened the door. It's Patrick Cannon. At that point, I have no idea what the charges are. And at that point, the judge releases him on bond. The hearing's over. Now I've got to go talk to him without knowing at that point what he's been charged with or anything. What is your reaction to the charge? And I just go up and ask him, well, what was your reaction to being charged? You were able to break this story in, in Charlotte on Mr. Cannon getting arrested. We heard that morning that there was going to be an arrest of a major political figure in town. But we had no idea who it would be or why. We now know Cannon resigned in 2014 as mayor after admitting to taking several bribes in an FBI sting operation where his actions were caught on camera. There is 12, five. He accepted a plea deal and was sentenced to 44 months in federal prison, but only ended up serving half that time. Well, Cannon told us in a written statement that he still takes responsibility for his actions back then and asks as a community, are we not a city of second chances? You can read his entire statement on our website, WCNC.com. In the meantime, we are live in Uptown Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. All right, a big story, big headline today. Jane, thank you for that. You can read all of our previous stories on Patrick Cannon, as she just said, on our website, WCNC.com.